Yeah. Now it's on. All right, we are getting ready to go live. You ready? You still yeah. playing pool? Are you serious? Hey, how'd you know that? You know that game? I see that right there. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, it's kind of crooked. Let me fix that. It's kind of There we go. It is crooked. What's up, Facebook, YouTube, and uh, uh, Twitter? We go. are live. It's another session of Learn Steam, and today I am with my co host, Divine Butler. And what's your name? If you guys can hear us, please. Comment down in the section so let us know, all right? Last time we were having issues with audio, but today we are good. Looks like we're good, huh? Okay, so let's get rolling. We'll show the introduction real quick. They can't hear us. I forgot I turned it off. So we are back. We got someone who wants to say hi. Come say hi. Oh, the cord. <laughs> so we're getting ready to do a presentation right now, as we can see. We don't want to go to that one. We want to go to the main screen. And uh, you know, I need to. I need to set up. Oh, there we go. Here's the main screen. So everyone's out running running around right now. Here's the overview. I don't know. I'm about to go look for him. Go look for him. Go look for him. So that camera right there is looking at you right now, okay? So everybody's getting their pizza. Yeah. I already got mine. You already got yours? And I already got mine. Sorry, the, the volume's not even clear okay. enough. I know the walkie. Alright, Divine. When you move that, they hear that too. So, let's, we're just going to keep it there, okay? Yeah. Alright? Yeah. So, let's go ahead and talk about your week in school. How was your week in school? Oh, it was good. Hey, it's done, right? Almost done? Are you guys almost out for summer break? We're almost out. Like, two weeks. <gasps> Two more weeks, and then what are you gonna do for your summer? You gonna go camping? You gonna do anything? No, Summer Bridge. Summer Bridge? Summer Bridge. You going to Summer Bridge? Yes, the the high school. High school Summer Bridge? Yeah. Let's give myself, give myself a drink. But uh, let's not spill it. Oh, okay. All right, so we got a presentation going on right now. We're gonna give one moment for Max. All right. What's the presentation hey, for? Hey, we got a little presentation real quick. All right. Hey, so. So this is something that Max is creating on the wall, if you can see. Say hi. What's the drink? What's the drink? What? So what, what Max is talking about is he's making a chat, right? A chat room? Yeah. Making a chat? Yeah. So he's making a server. So you can see right there it says, welcome to the server. Is that what it says? To your server? Yeah. Can't go that far. If Curlin was 
Join right now. And then you can also see where the rules are. Using mm -hmm. What's it called? Discord. Discord? Uh, yeah, Discord. Yeah, so I So what is going on right now is Max explaining us his chat room that he created using Discord. This one? Correct. That's it's that one. You gotta open an app store. That one, right? Correct. So. What? One of the big issues that we're having right now is communication, right? Yeah. We can't communicate to each other. Why? That <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh. Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah. It's time to do 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 so Max is creating a chat room. Uh, let's show the chat. So it looks it looks kind of like a stack, huh? Stack. Oh, slack. Slack. I'm sorry. Stack. Slack. Game. Come on. I'm busy doing the line. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so Max is explaining about how he has a leader, a leaderboard where it ranks on how active you are in the chat room. And as you can see, number one is, uh, whoa. Each time you post a message, you get a random number of XP between So you get, you get XP when you post a message. It's a nice incentive program, huh, Devon? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. You trying to log in right now? Yeah. See if you get in, right? What, what if I name myself? Dude? dude? Yeah, or the dude, you know. That's awesome. So this is for you guys if you want to try to stay in touch, chat, communicate outside of the mentorship. Oh, you're in. Yeah. 
Everyone can actually go to this website right now and sign up. Everyone should be signing up for Chat Learn Steam right now. Chat LS. Chat LS. Chat LS. Yeah, Chat LS. Look up, look up the the channel. So we'll. Chat OLS. I say. Chat LS. Right there. Chat LS. Bit Chat OLS. Mm -hmm. And you have to type in uppercase, the same uppercase and lowercase letters. Or it won't work. It's a sporting game. So you're not able to get in? Wait, I think it's this. Oh. Are you able to get in? Are you in? It's not taking my registration when I'm registering. It's not allowing it. Focus, focus. There you go. This. Are you, are you in? So you say I already have the app. Open it. Open. And then join. And you're in. Oh, you're in. Show everybody. I'm in. You're in? Okay, show that. Go in. Zoom in so they all can see it. Right there. Go right there. Boom. Let's show that full screen. Learn screen. Okay. I don't know if y'all can see my name, but... You want to do art? That's why. You want to draw with them? Go to... Uh, once you're all there, I'm going to pull up my screen to walk you through the sign-up process. Go to Kai. Kai's the one in the checkered shirt. Okay? To your left. To your left, right there. Uh-huh. Say Kai. Huh? So is that a young individual who wants to learn, learn how to draw? Do you know how to draw, Divine? No, uh, not, well, I can draw, like, so, uh, well, I can draw, yeah. draw, but I, could, I can't draw. <laughs> you can draw, but you can't draw? All right, so everyone should be on the side. Of and I'm going to walk you through. This is sending messages, you know. Yeah, did you? Did you say hi? I, I put hey, hey or hi. Fe look, failed to send a message out. It's not, it's not working for me. Yeah, I'll put hi, look. Yeah. Try. And if you zoom in, try. Failed to send us message. Hold your You're on Wi-Fi. You can see the Learn Steam logo. You're not on Wi-Fi. How come you're not on Wi-Fi? Oh. Chance, 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 do this. You're on. I'm busy. Yes, yes, we are. Would you like to join us? Yeah. Yeah? Come sit down. Oh, come on. Come sit down. You're going to be live. Sit down and say hi to the world. Okay. Introduce yourself. We'll be able to talk to him? Yeah. <laughs> so. Hey, we're trying to talk to you. Okay. Yeah, close up. So you can hear yourself. Can you hear yourself? Yeah. Yeah, all right. Go ahead and introduce yourself to the world. Say your name, how old you are, and what grade you're in. Hi, my name is Chance. I'm 11 years old. I'm in fifth grade. Fifth hey, grade. I try. Huh? Hey. Hey, uh, hey, this hey, is my real one. Like uh, oh, 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 hey, 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 cool. hey, hey, so, I, 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 tell the world what you're doing right now with that robot. I, I, I got life now. Right now, I just been wandering around. I got life? Yes. I, I have a boyfriend. I'm just playing with this robot that I found. It's kind of cool. <clears throat> that was Bill's, right? Yeah. Uh, I <laughs> 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 
Still can't see the robot. All right. Yeah, see the robot? You have to bring it up. What was that? Uh, it was a flash. It's the lightning. <laughs> no, no, I just feel like, man. All right. What's that? Vine, is this yours? Pleasure sitting right in front of the bit. Yeah. Yeah. Right, so I'm gonna click continue. You're gonna play with the robot? Okay. Hey, it's not Thanks for joining us. We'll I'm, see sending, you soon. I'm sending messages with this. You're yeah, sending messages? Send. Alright, show the world what you're doing. What are you trying to do? Good I'm advice. trying to send a me message to on on Discord app, but it won't work. Why not? I don't know, I have my Wi-Fi. Oh, here, let me put up the Wi-Fi for you. This, I have my Wi-Fi. Oh, you're on, right? Yeah. But it's still not saying, fell to say. We try, huh? And it's not happening, huh? Looks you like need to verify your email. Oh, you have to verify your email then. You know how to do that? Yeah. Like, like, like I do this. I put a, I put my email. I put my email. You put your email? I put my email. Well, you have to verify it. So, do you have your email? Yeah. So we are trying to connect to what Max has been presenting to okay. us, which is. Okay, I verified my oh, email. You, you verified it. You got it. You verified it, so it should work then, right? Yeah, it should work. Are you sure you verified it? Yeah. DB2003. Oh, wow. iCloud. Yeah, that, that's, that's your email. That's your email? Do you have, a, do you have your, your email on you? Yeah. Oh, right this one. Yeah, that one. There you go. Now uh, verify. Oh, no, 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 no. You're not done yet. You still got one more move. You got to click a link. Verify. There you go. I'm always forgetting it. You there know. you go. Now you should be good. Now re retry. Alright, so now I'm not a robot. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, wait, wait, wait. It's verifying. It's verifying. Okay, now you gotta pick the signs. Yeah, I don't like that one. It's just weird, right? You see me text? Did it go through? Yeah. You got it? Let me see. Show the world. <laughs> I'm not even, it's not even true. What? Okay, now I got it. All right. Let me see. <laughs> Tyrone Biggins, this is Tyrone Biggins Jr. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, we're going down, sir. All right, boom. I refresh the page. That's not no, no goblin. That, this Next. right here is not no goblin. That's just the robot. We need some light now. Yeah, it's getting dark playing. over here. It's getting dark over here. I'll do that later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Once your email. Let it play. Let it play. Let it play. Choose a secret password. I got Mr. T. So where did where did I'll do my avatar later? So we're working on the avatars now. How you do the avatars? <laughs> you create yours? I'm not receiving 
When I'm creating it, it's not working. What? So there you go. For those of you who just came in and want to join. <laughs> yeah. It sure does. Kai, where's your where's your brother at? Oh, is he doing Milky on the other room? Everybody got it? What's in the other room? Included Lupe? I think I think it's on the one to the left. To the room left. Well, the same thing, but all right, we got to talk to the people because they're getting bored. Divine, yes, you ready? Yeah. All right, coming back, flip the camera back. Divine, say hi. Hey, all guys. right, so what are you what are you working on right now? I'm sorry, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm working on my, my avatar. You might want to see it. Or something. Oh, you're making when you guys have a uh, Discord app. It's good. You don't have to download. So when you come to this screen, you don't have to download. Why well, this port's not working for me? When I register, it doesn't it doesn't send me anything. I'm just gonna go straight to start using Discord. Say again. Yeah, we have we have the wireless mic too, but. Alright. Uh, Mike? Yeah. You don't hear the presentation. Oh yeah, yeah. We're slowly working on it. One one move at a time. The best place would have been to set this up over there, but actually I like that we have the overview right here. Cool. But I would like to set up a camera to where we can see oops. We'll go back to the main screen so we can see who's in the hot seat. You can see the dip right there. Oh Devon, you're up, huh? Let me see. Look at that. Boom. Everybody's in. Is that your name? So, at least you have our excellent permanence. So now, this is what it looks like and how we can all chat with one another inside of the Discord. How are you guys able to create it? The Learn Steam Discord. It's not taking my email, man. I don't know why it doesn't show. He We will be right back. Give us one moment. Have a fun time and uh, checking out Faith's video. Let's see if you guys can hear that. I'm Faith. I am 17 years old and I love to program. I started programming last year when I was a junior and um, I was in web design in an HTML page and I was just like, oh my God. At the beginning, CART had gave us free laptops just for us to use that year. I knew they would take it away at the end of the year and I was like, I really want to keep doing this. And I was involved in this mentorship called Learn Steam. You know, you can't do anything if you don't have a laptop. So I started to sell like snacks, like anything I could get at Food Max or whatever. Students would come up to me like, oh, you got snacks, you got snacks. And it was just like, ooh, calm down. <laughs> And like the bag would be empty and then like more kids would come up to me and they'd be like, I'm sorry, I gotta go refill. <laughs> so pretty much to, I think I sold for like three, four months and I got like 300, about 300 or more, I'm not sure. My mom said she would help me pay for like the protection and whatever. So we went there and um, the first laptop I got, it was just a toy. It was touch screen and it messed up and I was like, oh, I just wasted that $300 for this. But um, we called them and they said, oh, you have um, a month to come and return it. And I was so happy, I was like, thank God. I was like, thank God. And so we went back and I got this laptop, my favorite laptop. <laughs> and then summer came and Mr. T came up and was like, are you gonna do this um, 
So it's called the Hackathon, the Fresno Hackathon. And I, um, I was like, I don't think I can do it, Mr. T. I'm like, I just started this for like a, a year. He's like, I know you can do it. You know you can do it. I'm like, Mr. T, uh, okay, <laughs> I'll trust you. So um, at the time, our car had broke down, so I didn't know how I was gonna get up there. I was like, oh, I really wanna go up there. I think the competition started at eight. So I got up really early and I caught the bus all the way down to um, Patino High. And then when I got up there, I didn't know you had to be in groups. And I was all by myself. I was like, oh God, what am I gonna do? I was like, all these kids, they probably already know what to do. And I was like, you know what? I'll just go to the beginners or something and just hope I win something. But um, Mr. T was like, no, you gotta go to the events. You gotta go to the events. And then I did, and I was still by myself. But the principal, he put me with the group. This is a really great group. They just, they invited me in. They were so nice to me. And we just, we all got along. I think we had like five hours to program. And I did the animations. And I think Alex, he did most of the bootstrap. I can't remember the others' names, I'm sorry. <laughs> it was so long ago, but we did that. And we thought, we were like, you know what? Let's just get second place. You know, we're, we're okay. We saw the other groups and we're like, we got this, you know, second place, let's go, let's go. And we went up there and the girl, she was in our group, she gave this really great speech and then we showed them all of the designs and stuff. It was really nice. When the thing came for them to announce it, we all held each other's hands, like come on and we just that, it was really fun. And then they announced that we had won first place for our band. We were so happy, we just jumped up. I didn't even really expect it. And then Mr. T, he turned around and said, I told you, you could do it. <laughs> I would tell people struggling not to give up because I've had a lot of hard comes, but I did not let that stop me. I just, I just kept it going. And I kept a smile on my face. <laughs> you need to learn about learning. <laughs> it's a great program. They really helped me. They helped me with my homework. They helped me learn program. I mean, they helped me learn about real life. It's a really good, it's a really good mentorship. I got mine to work now. Finally, right? Yeah, finally. Yeah, since I'm back from that mentorship, that life. Oh yeah, turn the lights on. It's dark in here. So what was it called? It was bitlive dot what? What was the server? I called? forgot. Uh, oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, it's learning. No. Are you able to get get back in, Jack? Max, Max, what's the link again? Bit.ly. Oh wait, no, that's uh, different. That's gonna be the actual the number. Huh? The code number. Here, I can show you. I think you, I think you I think it's, uh, it's the one that you send the email, right? Yeah, it's the one that I sent the email. Okay, let's see. Learn Steve. Max Taylor. Max Taylor. There. Awesome. Now I can just click this and you'll. And then it'll say, uh, say uh, okay. do you have the app? Give me this. I can't run. I didn't right, see that. I'm in. <laughs> Open. And pre populate. Oh, and it crashed. <laughs> uh, you should be. Alright. So, everybody, let's give Max a hand. It is time for you to be in the hot seat to chat with everybody. To tell, tell us what you just made right now, okay? Divine, I'm going to have Max sit down real quick to interview him, okay? Give me about 10 minutes. Go hit the lights for us, yeah? yeah? Hit the lights on. Let me go grab the computer real quick. Go ahead. Lights on? And uh, i got to make you uh, mentor, so what's your username? Uh, Mang I think it's Mango. Mango? Yeah. 
Let me see. We're actually, I would just. How many of you remember this site? Yeah, Mango. No. School G. One moment, please. All right, and we are back. We're gonna go and see. We're gonna talk about the guy who just created this. Let me get this verified. It's button box. Capital everything. Button box. Okay. All right. So here's the man, Max. Hi. Max. So to tell everybody what you you just showed us right now. Um, let me go back to the main screen. Okay. So what we go ahead. So. Do, you, do your whole pitch again. All right, that would be a tad bit difficult because I stuttered a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Try it out. Um, so what I created was a chat for Learn Steam. Yeah. Something that's very simple to use. What I originally tried doing was creating a uh, well, developing one with HTML and PHP. Yeah, how did that go? I you were doing that. It went, it went terrible. PHP is really difficult. It's a little too difficult. So. <laughs> PHP is a difficult language to learn in the beginning. Yeah. So, uh, you, said, you were connecting servers and everything too, weren't you? With that one, you have to like. I, yeah, servers. I had to like get everything together, and then nobody. Every tutorial that I looked at, nobody looked at, or nobody said what the file name was, so I couldn't probably uh, ask anyone, or I couldn't see what it properly was, you know? Mm -hmm. um, Everyone check this video out. But, okay, one moment. We're going to take one moment to show we this, okay? We actually went to Matt? something called the Maker Fair he in San Mateo, California last week. I don't know how you guys, um, it's not working. Oh, you can actually go oh, to oh, makerfair.com oh, or make.com. Discord. So check out, well, let me show you what happens in this video. <laughs> awesome. What is, so what was that? So, so was that like a, a motherboard? Who is the robot? Uh, blue one. <laughs> so do you guys remember last mentorship Max stood up there and showed you what he did with this little chip? Oh yeah. How he put all these Nintendo games and everything on there? Yep. Microsoft gave us one that's not even released to the public. Oh, free. oh is that right? It's different. Right, so... Does anybody here know know what the Internet of Things is? Does anybody know what that means? Uh, I got it. Any non-mentors? <laughs> what was the Internet of Things? Internet? No, not you. That guy behind you. Oh, good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah what, what is that? So you're gonna make your username? What is Stand up. Don't be shy. Okay, else? Don't be shy. So, Internet of Things. Both hands just go up. Just tell them. Go. Internet. Put in my name right here. Okay, so at some point, everything is, everything electronic is going to be connected to the internet, right? Everything, the internet of things. So there are a bunch of companies creating these ships for developers to create their own internet of things devices. And so Microsoft gave us a prototype chip, you cannot buy this, right? So because Mr. Thomas was quick with our marketing materials, <laughs> the lady pulled us to the side and said, hey, you guys are educators. Cool. 
So I'm like, he's crazy. I'm not going to carry this stuff around to make a fair. But he was, it was a good idea. He did it, you know. Anyway, so they pulled us to the side, and they said, hey, we have some stuff for guys like you, because we're mentoring you guys. And so this chip here is a, it's an Internet of Things chip. You can do a whole bunch of stuff with it. It's like an Arduino, if you guys are familiar with that. The little robot is riding on this. These little kids have been driving around. They're based on the Arduino, right? But this is different because you can connect to a Wi-Fi network. And wow. so imagine you have a whole bunch of these things rolling around taking pictures of <coughs> sending stuff up to the internet. That, that's like one example. What's the most example? What, what else can we do with this thing? So, uh, <laughs> so I have a, I'm going to pull up some pictures that, that are on our Flickr page. Every time we do an event, I post all of the pictures that we do out on Learnstein's Flickr page. Hey, have you guys seen those little Amazon um, you should be on the little screen. things you stick on your detergent, you press the button when it's empty, and it buttons, alerts yeah. Amazon? Buttons. What are those buttons. things called? They're buttons. They're buttons, yeah. yeah. So those are Internet of Things devices. Uh, that's another example. Another example is, and something that we're going to be working on in our, in our group here, is imagine you have a plant at home, right? A flower. So we can put a device in it to measure the, the moisture of the soil, measure the amount of light, so if it gets too dry, it can send you a tweet and say, hey, it's not a artery. Take it to the next We level. actually saw one of those plants, and I learned Steam is following them on Twitter. So every time the plant is dry and it needs more water, it'll send out a tweet saying, water me, or I'm low, or I'm thirsty. Um, so, oh, go, go, go back for a second. So it's funny, so, you know, I, I got this. I'll show you that plant later. I, I'm, I'm really interested in agriculture now, because we're in the Central Valley, the Internet of Things, we can monitor crops, blah, 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 blah. And so I found this guy on YouTube. He basically, he lives in Oakland, and he has an urban garden. Do you, do you guys know what aquaponics is? Yeah. Not yet. Who knows what it is? Okay, tell us what it is. Hydroponics? Aquaponics. Oh, aquaponics. It's like hydroponics, but you go water instead of... You have a, fi you have a fish tank. So yeah, you have a fish tank, you feed the fish, the fish eat the food, and they produce a product that the plants can use. And, and then the plants in turn clean the water. And so it's a cycle. And here's the right. craziest fish. You never have to fertilize the plants because the fish are fertilizing it. <laughs> so this guy, he's got this am amazing urban farm in Oakland. And if we we'll, we'll go to his YouTube page, you can see it. But you don't need soil to grow this stuff. It's all growing right in water. And the fish are producing the fertilizer for them. And then he's got a chip. He's off. He's actually a tech guy, right? He's one of his chips. He, he, he fabricated this chip. It's a Linux. It's an Arduino to control all the pumps and uh, sample different. It's got a whole bunch of sensors. And this chip right here on the left is a Linux chip. So it's a Linux computer with an Arduino board, and he's able to monitor his entire farm with a whole bunch of these boards. It's very cool. We're gonna probably get a couple more. Yeah. The goal is for us to take this chip. Play around with it, see what we can control, and then show you guys how you know you make websites and you write websites and you write you're writing code. Well, the code that you write actually gets saved on the chips, so you can plug them up and start creating and doing different things with these chips. Right. So you're writing software directly on the chips, allowing you to create just about anything that you want, literally. And that's what we saw mostly everywhere, all over the maker. People doing all kinds of things with these chips. These chips. From watering plants, making plants, send out tweets. It was just a whole bunch of different things. Laser cutting, 3D printing. 3D printing, all from these Internet of Things chips. Yeah, when you're done, I'll be much more. Okay, so I just want to go through. Like about Here's some old, uh, so, old computers. Okay, so now. when we grew up back in the day, <laughs> those two computers, the computer on the right there, that's an Apple II. I think that's Apple II Plus. So, wow. that was before, that, before we even met, that, that, those are the computers that I used back in the day. And so, <laughs> because I, I, I learned how to do basic programming as a kid, I wrote a little program right here on this old TRS-80 computer. Wow. Right? Live. You wrote so, this old radio shack. Go, I, I, what does it say? It says learn, Steve. Yeah, so back then there were no graphics, it was all text based. And so I wrote a program to print our 
There's yeah. an animated version on our Twitter. Yeah. And I'll, be, I'll be putting it on our Instagram later. So this is uh, people using the chips to create musical instruments and control musical instruments. Here's uh, some plants that we're doing all, you can talk to your plant and say, water the plant. Crazy. And it would water the plant, so it would add fertilizer using your, your, your Amazon Alexa and your Google Home. Wow. These are some of the things we're trying to bring to you guys. We have to kind of learn about them first, and then bring it to all of you guys. And then, uh, and she was pretty, and she talked to us. <laughs> <laughs> so there was a lot of amazing things. Let me try to get through really quickly, just, just so you can see that plant that was tweeting. Here's some more aquaponics. I just have one. Yeah, hydro. So this was all running through pipes and all that stuff. So all that stuff is growing? Is growing without soil. So basically, all those pipes are connected, and water is running from the top, gravity all the way to the bottom, and back into a reservoir. The roots, are, the roots are just hanging in water. Yeah. So, so the, is the nutrition better, or is it different, or or is this like a? a, a, a I mean, you have to put nutrients in the water. Okay. So the plants will grow, and you know. Okay. So you're just really working with nutrients and water, not needing dirt. You don't need dirt. Don't need to haul thousands and hundreds of pounds and bags of dirt. When all you need to do is add nutrition to the water. Um, this R2 D2 was actually live and running around. I'll be putting that video out there soon. It actually did scream at me. It was a trip. Right when we walked up to it, it kind of like did a show. <laughs> so there are a lot of companies doing a lot of amazing things. You know, these are some of the things you can do with the chips. Yeah, so we have one of these. Yeah. Right? We're, we're going to get some more. The company that makes these was actually at the Maker Fair. Is that a little pink pack? What was that? San Mateo, California. Pack computer. Uh, it was super giant. That's a big, gigantic keyboard. Super giant keyboard. Life size. No, I'm talking about the picture above. What? 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 Yes. You guys know. You guys have been. You guys tell me what it was. You guys, you've been to Chuck E. Cheese, right? Yeah. So those, those are the devices that can. So, so those that thing there is connected to a computer, and it's controlling those. So he didn't. I mean, you need to see the video, but those things are moving. You guys could use the Internet of Things chips to control little things like robots or these things, and it's actually just pumping air in it. Yes, air compressor. And an air compressor is making the robots move, and then I'm a live on, 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 on Instagram right now. Yeah. <laughs> that used to be a mouse. So let me see if I can show you that plan. Because you guys can actually go out to our Flickr page anytime you want uh, and see everything that we post about just about everything. Here was a chip that was connected to a 3D scanner. You can scan something oh, yeah. in 3D. These little robots, there's a chip inside these little ro robots to make them walk. So the same chips. Live at Learn Steam right now. A lot of them had, here's the lady, yeah, here's the lady that gave us the chip. Who's yeah. up? <laughs> From Microsoft. <laughs> she believed in us and was like, let me show you something. Come here, come here. here. <laughs> <laughs> they hook you up. So she gave us, uh, and it, it actually, oh, this is something else. That's what we're doing. Make code. Yeah, we're going to do this. Is that, uh, is that one like um, yeah. Scratch? Scratch? Yeah. This is another thing that Microsoft released. We do actually have one of these round chips where you guys can learn how to write code by using block coding to make these things light up into different sequences. Block coding, huh? And there's a whole bunch of lines. Bam! Oh, yeah. Well, no, no. Well, yeah. So. Panda Dell's joined. It's been a long time. You can talk until I find the clip. So, Microsoft, they were doing demos programming these chips with this new tool that they have called Make Code. And this is one of the, it's called the Circuit Playground. Right? And if I plug it in, does anybody have it? We 
getting busy with that chat, huh? Yeah, a lot of people are uh, talking at it. <laughs> Oh, there it is right here. So, this is the plant. Talking plant. If any of you guys went to Sig Fox Plants on Twitter, this thing is going to tweet out every time it needs something. I think this is. Oh, that was one of the plant tweet. Yeah. That's what I wanted to show them. Okay. The plant was uh, telling us it was thirsty. So, we need more water. That was the guy next to you. Uh -huh. This is the guy that has water. Right. Okay, so I think so right here because it says Boss Sweet. Maybe the Swiss was Paris. It says it's Paris. Yeah. Okay. 14 new messages. They, they had a platform. Cat pictures. <laughs> is it a bot? Uh, oh, well, this is a different one, huh? Am I in the wrong chat? This is very, very cool. We found these oh, little, little tiny, tiny, oh, they, tiny computers. I've set up uh, three bots. Like, uh, Oh, you can set up one. Yeah. All right, let's get back into the conversation. Wow. Being All right, so let me go back. Small and tiny. Potentially, computers we could get and then give out. There's a lot of stuff we can do with these things so that everyone can have a computer. There's just a lot of amazing stuff. Here's one of the things that we have in here. All right, and we are back, guys. Sorry for that. Max, show us how you did this, man. This is awesome. Check it out. We are all in. Come on, zoom in more. Focus. Focus. Zoom in. Enhance. Come on. There we go. Well, there we go. So, how did you find out about this? So. Uh, around the beginning of the school year, uh, August so ish, to write code to chips, uh, so my friend Billy at the time, he, uh, he wanted to add me on to Steam, which is like the distributor, uh, the main distributor so of online games. Well, Anybody? we didn't have a proper way to communicate, we more so he added me so to, uh, is, okay, so he showed me to Discord, good. which mm -hmm. is what we're going to be, uh, what That's we've been good. using so far throughout the day. Yeah. Uh, so if you go to makecode.com, because it is known for again, being the chat for to, gamers. To oh, is that right? Gamers right use this chat? Yeah, it's the main chat. It again, actually so just turned two as well. And it's now two right? years old. Two years old, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, every time it's we'll into a new computer, school. it says two years old. We'll also um, this school. Yeah. So just real quick. But so these are I, uh, different platforms that you can program using makecode. And what I was originally doing was I was thinking of ways to like have us all connected at the same time right? yeah. while we're gone. Like yeah. So what so I originally so tried doing was making a chat app with, uh, so, with you, PHP, right? Yeah, with PHP yeah. and HTML so and all that. That was way too complicated. <laughs> Nobody wanted to tell me the so file name. I'm gonna, I'm so I was like, you know what, let's forget that. And right. I'll find another solution later so on. So... Um, last Friday, I went to a sleepover for a club that I'm so running, uh, that I went to at my old school, but uh, like, we're still connected, you yeah. know, so I still go to some of the events. We were doing a fundraiser on Saturday. Oh, wow. Yeah. Right, yeah. so, um, this we were making pine nuts with the pictures, but we, uh, we played D&D, &D and then we were like, hey, <laughs> Why don't we just so start do live streaming every time we do this? So we was thinking, we were about thinking about of ways to do it, and I was like, my main form of communication for most of my friends is Discord, so why not use that? That's where it gave. That's where it started with the original idea of using Discord as. So if you want a large JavaScript, then this is a great way to do it as well. Because you uh, can toggle back and forth between block feet. So and what I started doing was and so May. Code is a platform on Monday, whenever I got to school. So yeah, because I'm having right major here, power issues at home. Yeah. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I can't run anything in my room yeah. anymore. I have one Plugged outlet in my computer, entire room. It's ridiculous. My like two different computers and a TV and all that, so it doesn't work properly. Then we can make it do stuff. Um, so 
So, so what I did was, so this is a great resource. Uh, as soon as I got to school, I signed in to earlier? Discord, and I started making the server, uh, everything that's needed, right. and then I called so the team to see if I had permission for the Lord and Steam logo. Yeah. So as soon as I found out, yes, that I had the right you know, permission, so I, so I got onto the Facebook page, took that, put it onto the Discord logo, as you see every time you... Yeah. Every time you look onto the server icon, it's, you know, mm -hmm. it's nice. Yeah. And I'm actually surprised on how well it actually fit into the thing. Yeah, it looks nice. It looks, yeah, it looks legit. Yeah, that that learning logo. Based on something. Uh, and so rather than learning Java, it's not the case. Shows. You can come in here and just it's do right all the stuff. Right there. It's too bright. <laughs> it's nice. I like it. It looks yeah. I really liked it as soon as I put it on. I changed nothing of it. I, that's the original picture of the Facebook page. So you have to have Minecraft on your computer connected together. Then you can interactively build. Then I started building roles, which you're actually one of the roles. I built um, server owner, mentors, and the founding four. So they, they can all be there. And then I messaged Mr. T and asked him for your guys' email so I can just send it real quick and then have you guys joined before I actually present it. Mm -hmm. That didn't work because nobody responded. <laughs> and then like I spent literally about, uh, I spent all this week trying to get Mr. T to actually sign in but he just was so busy. Yeah. 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 So, so right there you can see it says mentors. Let me see. Come on. Focus right there. So it says mentors. It says Mango, Mr. T, and then we got Max as the server owner. That's pretty awesome, man. And then the next step that I normally do when creating a server is going through the list of bots that can help us. Yeah. So, what is this? so these bots can be... Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Explain it to us. So with the list of bots, it's kind of ridiculous on the website that I normally go into, but it's the most official one that I found, which is uh, Carbonex, I think it was Carbonex, something like that. Yeah. They have a whole bunch of projects. You go through every single bot that I can find, and I see what so kind of features it has, and it's more projects, legit than another here. one, you know? So, so tell me about these bots then. Uh, which, which are the, you have a couple of bots on here that show a bunch of cat features, is that, is that them? Um, that's actually only one of them. Oh, that's one of them. Um, I don't know if that's the name, but it's the one with the tree icon. Uh -huh. it's, yeah. it's actually a Greek thing from what I found out. It's oh, like is a, that right? Yeah, it's like a Greek name kind of thing or a Greek mythology type deal. And uh, I actually found that from one of my friends because he joined, he had me join a uh, test server for him so that he could see what bots would work for our <laughs> server or not. You have a bunch of cats. Yeah. You can actually do that yourself if you type in dash dash and then cats. Dash, dash cats? Oh, and it's yeah. a little random cat? Yeah. It shows a random cat photo. Did I do it right? Dash, dash? Oh, no, dash, that's dash. slash. Dash, dash cat. Yeah. Cats or cats? Cat. Cat? I do both. There it goes. See? Oh, wow. That's pretty cool. Check that out. You know. Right, so I typed in dash, dash cat and came out oh, a cat in the bag. Here's another thing that I can do with you, real quick. Is if I type in dash dash death battle. Yeah, so this is an example death of battle? Guy yes, built. death battle. And then I type in two names, so I'll do. Using some make block parts. Uh, I'll type in you see over here on the at your right, name, right? Yeah. And I'll send it out. Death battle. And then death battle started. So we're fighting each other right now? Yeah. Oh, you're probably going to beat my butt. Uh, exploded. Oh, I exploded a bomb on the butt. <laughs> so it's like step motors. Yeah. He's so going to be controlling Is that our life points right there? Yeah. So you what? actually won. I actually won? No yeah. way. It's all randomized. Oh, it's random. It's not based on XP? Yeah. Well, kind of. It, okay. It's not based on XP because that's two different bots. That's pretty cool. And then I can type in dash, uh, no, dash, dash. RIP, R-I-P, uh -huh. and then I type in my uh, username, uh -huh. Rincana, is uh -huh. it, and then it'll show a little <laughs> gravestone. Right, so again, go ahead and make a block, we're going to do something real quick. We're going to write a rope, simple program. What was the site again? Make uh, block, dot, I'm sorry, make so, code dot com. 
uh, what I did was I looked at what he had and yeah. I saw that it was a really fun thing because uh, I only had two bots on at the time, uh -huh. which is me six uh -huh. and, uh, and yet another general purpose Discord bot is what it's actually called. Okay, it's an acronym and everything. It's really weird to see it, but. That's pretty uh, cool. Me six, what I put him in charge of is he's in charge of uh, the welcome messaging. Oh, okay. So, he'll, so if someone joins, he'll display a welcome message and the announcements. If someone leaves, he'll do the same thing but a uh, goodbye message. Alright, you're going to follow some challenges that Mr. P's going to do with you guys. Um, let's see. Excuse me. So will it say goodbye before we leave? Or? Uh, no, it will say goodbye as soon as you leave. Oh, really? <coughs> so, like, wow. not as in, like, if you... real time, huh? Yeah. So it's not as, like, as soon as you leave the server, it's... Okay, you know what? Let's, as soon as you... You see the heart? Back, man. Let's write a little program to make the heart. Uh, not it's not as soon as you leave okay. just the server itself. It's as soon as you actually leave the server as in... You take out your name and everything, you or you get kicked or banned from the server. Okay. And then it will display it. this person has left, so that everyone else knows who left. All right, so we should all be at .com. We can have a voice chat. Yes. Yeah, yeah, and, awesome. and actually, if you type in, uh, there's a little sound that it makes, which they're busy right now, so I won't display yeah. it. <laughs> and actually, I displayed it while uh, during okay. my presentation. If you type in uh, dash dash and a different name, uh -huh. like the one that right. I did was so doing, uh -huh. we're okay. that so noise. You can also see all right the commands here. if you type in dash dash help. Oh, okay. And then it'll do a direct message to you saying exactly everything that it can do. That's awesome, Max. Uh, and then yet another general purpose Discord server <laughs> bot. Uh, that one, what he does is uh, right. he's more so for us, uh, the admin. So uh, 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 we can see right, right now uh, how many people have there. messaged in that one that set of time. Things. So like in the last 24 hours. Yeah. If I took my computer, I could probably so show you, but I just really like can't this. right now. So you can, uh, there's actually statistics and demographics um, on us, is that what you're saying? Uh, yeah, we can see everything that someone's okay. typing. Okay. And then I set it okay, right cool. now to where it's, um, <laughs> so, I set it to where so it's so just inside of the actual see, chat room. Yeah. Because we have about four different chat rooms. Yeah. As you can see, announcements, right rules, admin chat, and, uh, and actual chat. Right here. So, so, I've set it up to where it's... The only, in, the only amount of recording that's actually going into it mm -hmm. is inside of the chat room. What's that called when you type okay. in? When you're typing on a computer, and then, do you uh, Input! Yes! With so the same bot that, that shows us the music. stats of everyone, so you know, how many people are speaking in I want to get the event, um, the press A button event, I go to inputs. Uh, okay. I also set up a censorship. So, just so down here, what do you guys if you say? try cussing on the Where's server, it will we'll delete, filter. and as soon as you, as soon as you send it out, it'll delete the uh, the message, and then it'll send you a direct message saying, "Hey, you can't so say that word." Oh, the really? Server. So we have, we have a, we have a, yeah, so what's a term for that? Drag, right? I guess we have a, uh, a pretty strong uh, moderator. Huh? Yeah, what it actually is called on the dashboard is called auto moderator. Exactly. Uh -huh. So it automatically sets as soon as you know. It shows me what the JavaScript is. Actually, I can show you right now. So do something with like A, B, or if you look onto my screen, which I know oh. you won't really be able to see it. But if you type in, you know, basic okay. curse word. So these little lights. See, it's gone. Do you guys know what these lights are called? I got a direct message from it saying, "Hey, you can't say that." And I've I'm tested it out about it's seven called, different times with different words. And yeah. It has, it's you know getting it its short? data of you which words are bad and which ones are not no, from two, uh, what was that? Two, like, yeah, two dictionaries. So, or, like, uh, two dictionaries. Uh, one, so that that up, heart, one, one, one that I set up and then one that I Oh, okay. It's like a global. One that I set up and one that he actually, that the bot had by itself. Yeah. Which it has like. I that up too. I didn't screw it in all the way. Right? On the, so yeah, on the hot shoot. The top left, the upper upper left is zero zero. If I mouse over, it means it's all the correct word is. So I'll go back to see there. Zero zero, zero one. Zero two. Alright, yeah, 
So remember the heart? See the heart here? In the meantime, right now, so Curlin is going through a uh, short demonstration of Microsoft so Make Code. The first row, what, are what they learned words? from the ma uh, what was right. it called the make Maker Fair, Maker right? Fair, the Maker Fair. Fair. So this is the beginning steps of being able to write code for robotics. Oh. And also, how to control parts. There's also Adafruit right okay. there, which is the so people who made it. Zero, Raspberry Pi. Raspberry Pi. Yeah, the robot. one that no. I presented no. last week. Oh, is that right? Oh, yeah. they oh they presented. They make, yeah, they make the yeah, they Raspberry Pi. They, they have the names after like, delicious food, Raspberry Pi. Yeah, the, <laughs> I figured it's because it's the um, okay. actual name of so the, the company, which is Adafruit. Yeah. This is oh. awesome, man. Matt. Literally anyone can actually do this. It's a completely free tool. Yeah. The only thing that you would actually have to pay for it would be Discord Nitro. Okay. But there's a there's a um, there's a premium edition. Okay. Yeah. Let's go back over to our application. And the premium edition it adds in so much more that you can do with the Discord servers. Just I don't have the money to actually do it, so. It's all right, man. Yeah. Work with the small steps first, because yeah. the small steps will allow you to get there and not fall back that far or behind. You know? And then what I've set up as well, which is what you guys use to get onto the server, which is the bit.ly. Yeah. Mr. T, the, can, okay, so now for the people who are not here, they can, he can send it out using the Remind Me app yeah. that he has. Yeah. And then everyone can get, everyone who signed up to the text messaging service can actually see it so that they know. All right. So uh, let's the Before chat has been far, created so that sure everyone can works. communicate so without to to having to actually be here. That's awesome. So there's another form because normally the way we have our, ch our, our communication right now is we have a text message that is that gets sent out the, usually the day before our mentorship. So what Max is able to do for us okay, now so is to always keep us connected because not everybody's using Facebook, Snapchat, or those yeah, other right. social right medias. Right. So this is a great way to yes. uh, have so a unique connection to uh, the, the members who come okay. here at LearnSeam. And again, it's free, guys. Fresno, every second, fourth Friday of the month. So what time? Matt, right? It's five to eight, right? Five to eight, Oh, yeah. it's here at four. Yeah. It's just, it's easier. It's easier like, for you? Yeah, Yeah, because my mom picks me up right after school, so I just yeah. come here. Straight here. Right? Like, yeah. Hang out in uh, Mr. T's office for a while. We didn't really get to introduce yourself, too, Max. So, how long have you been here? And tell us how old you are and uh, what grade you're in. I am 16 years old. I'm a sophomore at Patino High School for entrepreneurship. And amazing entrepreneur school, man. It, it is amazing there. You guys have no idea how lucky you guys are. <laughs> we do know. <laughs> well, at least well, I you, do. Yeah, you yeah, are, I, I now respect that. Yeah, you're aware of that. Go ahead. But. I've been here okay. since around the beginning of the school year. Mr. T uh, was like, "Hey, you guys, there's a mentorship. You guys should totally go. You seem like you'd be, you know, fun. Hey, you'd, you know, really enjoy this and all that." So I was like, "All right, I might as well." So I went for, you know, the first time, and I was like, "This is, this place is great. You know, can't do much because we didn't have the computers at the time. But now that we have the computers, yeah, you know, it's a lot easier to get everything done that we need to." And, present things that we actually want to present. Yeah, and Max have done so many presentations. Like three or four now. Yeah, I think it's three. Yeah, three or four now. The first one was on the game design that you and Billy were going to create, yeah. I believe. And then the second one was on the... Uh, the Raspberry Pi. The Raspberry Pi. And which, then yeah. now the Discord. Now the Discord. And that's amazing. You have no idea what these little tiny steps are going to do for you in the future. First of all, you're building... You're, you're building your confidence, you're getting comfortable at being in the you public, the you know, in public speaking. On the board. And uh, one of these days when you look and back you at this, I'll say 10 years, this, I'm going to upload this to YouTube right. so you can be able to look back at how much you've grown, you know? Yeah. Yeah. This is history yeah. making for you, you know? So, um, so now, first of all, as I mentioned, I'm very proud of you. Every time you come in here, you're doing something amazing, stuff that... I have no idea how to even get into, you know? When I was younger, I wanted to get into uh, what you're doing right now. I, I'm eventually going to teach everybody how to build computers. I'm going to bring in my, my tower and have you guys learn to build a computer. Yeah. From scratch. You but you're already doing that. You're, you're learning that you can make a... All you need is a little just, tiny you know, piece. Yeah. Have an, out, uh, an, out, an outlet for it, right? Yeah. Awesome? I can't do that right now. Yeah, wait, 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 the so last one only need a USB port, huh? Yeah, it only need a USB, micro USB, perfectly fine for it. 
And, and then, then you uh, connect it to a computer yeah. unit, right? Uh, you, yeah, HDMI, you uh, connected it to, which is a lot better than what they originally had, because you had to do all kinds of different madness yeah. to figure out how to do the Raspberry Pi. But with Raspberry Pi 3, yeah. now uh, you can do whatever. Now they actually have Raspberry Pi 0. They've had that for a while. Which, so is that like a, a new version? That's the, the latest version I do believe, but it's, uh, it's like... It's about that big, I would say. So it's a, it's that gotten size. a little smaller and more. Yeah, it's gotten. That, that's what it means. And then what people normally use uh, Raspberry Pi Zero to is to make uh, what I did with my uh, Pi Three, which was make uh, an emulator. Emulators to load up games on there. And then what they would do is they would put it into small little containers so that they can just carry around anywhere. Like someone made one out of an old NES cartridge. Uh, oh, is that right? Yeah. Some oh, people. That's awesome. So some people actually put it in calculators. Like they got the case of the calculators and they put the actual like everything they needed inside of the calculator. It was great. Let's show the world that. Let's see. Let me see if it's a little bit of Chrome. Come on, capture Chrome. All right. Okay. Let me show you guys. Okay. So, uh, what's it called again? The Raspberry Pi Zero. And uh, Raspberry Pi Zero. Okay. Right there, huh? Yeah. So this thing. So, uh, we'll go to images. Huh? See. It's nice and small. It's a small, half the size of a five dollar bill. Very small. Wow. So this thing, how many, how much space ha is on there? Um, well, it depends on what SD card you get for. As you can see in this picture, yeah. they have an eight gigabyte. Uh, oh, so, oh, so you can you can load an SD chip on there. Yes, that's the only way it gets memory. Actually, is through oh, is the that SD. Right? Yeah. So we got a USB port right there. We got a. Uh, so this would be the hard drive, a place to load your hard drive. Would this be like the CPU right here? I do believe so. Okay. So we got a CPU right there, and then we got these two little. Now, are these, are these just, are these no, just, okay. I haven't actually seen the Raspberry Pi Zero. I've seen like videos and pictures of it, but um, like. I do believe the minimal that you actually need is uh... Right, um, I've brought some props for today's video. Um, these are two computers from my childhood. It's a BBC microcomputer. I bought one of these in 1989 for £220. This is a Commodore Amiga. I bought this in uh, uh, Christmas of 1992 <laughs> uh, for £199. Although this is in Leeds. Um, when I bought each of these machines, I had to basically just drain all the money I had. I had to drain my bank account, my piggy bank, and you know, all of my savings went into each of these machines at the time. Right, oh, right. Oh, okay. So who's got the first row? This is going to get. Um, that's lost. Right here? Well, right here. program. Um, I guess. There's only one thing cooler than a five dollar computer, and that's uh, probably a free computer. Um, we so publish a magazine called Magpie. Uh, it's available from all reputable UK and US um, uh, news agents. Uh, the December issue is out today, and we thought it would be a bit of fun uh, to give away the Raspberry Pi Zero as a uh, as a cover gift. Uh, we printed ten thousand of these, and these were in stores today. So uh, wow, uh, get going, I guess. Um, we're the first magazine ever to give away a uh, first computer magazine ever to give away a computer as a cover gift. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> that's pretty awesome. Christmas. First computer magazine to give out a computer. Yeah. Um, what I think is the best Raspberry thing about Pi. Adafruit, their industry and all that. I think their best okay. part about it is. Uh, Everything they do so is cheap. The heart, yeah. do Everything that you can find for Raspberry Pi is relatively cheap for what yeah. it actually is. I think the most expensive thing I've ever actually seen was an attachment that another company made yeah. called the Pi Top, which was... Um, Pi Top, huh? Yeah. So basically what you do is you load up everything you need for an uh, actual computer onto the Raspberry Pi, yeah. and then you plug it all into the Pi Top, and it acts just like a laptop. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Wow. Everything hooks up properly, and then as soon as you're done, it sets up as a perfect laptop for you, which I kind of wanted to get, but it was like around 175 which I couldn't afford. Hey, well, I tell you this. What you're making right now, you can definitely find some way to monetize it. You know, let's say your friends want... You do the time to load up all those games, and your friends want those games, but they don't want to go through that time to load it up. You go, I have all everything that you want in this, this, little, this little software here. 
Oh, raspberry, right? Raspberry Pi, right? Raspberry Pi. I'll sell it you for twenty dollars, so you get fifteen dollars profit. Right? If it's five dollars a unit, I believe. Um, that was for the price zero, uh -huh. but what I spent in total because I, sp I bought a case uh -huh. and the screen as well is uh -huh. around sixty-five. Okay, sixty-five. So now you can sell that for a hundred. Thirty seconds, man. Yeah. Okay. And so you leave the heart with. Wow, that though I can get in trouble for legal rights because it's I'm getting the games for free on the Pi, so I, you know I can get in trouble for that. You can, but uh, people can also. I say you can do this under the table first for someone else to help. Like if I want you, I give you a hundred. You're not on paper yet, but you know you're doing me a favor. You know, yeah. and you're gonna start off that way until you can find a way to do it legit. You know, or like. Another idea for that would be like getting on, uh, getting a multiplayer game with multiple controllers and doing what's, there's a flyer somewhere around here that's for uh, tournament, yeah, for the realm. Oh, there was a bottle. See, they're doing a Smash Brothers tournament, so what you would do is you would load up a game that's there. multiplayer and do a tournament uh -huh. and pay what they, or do what they do, which is like five bucks for a player. Awesome. Well, Max, it's been a pleasure. I think you should definitely keep doing, keep doing that. Every time you learn something like that, what you're doing is you're just going to expand your knowledge. You know, I call it the web, your own personal web. Because now you're going to see how this connects and how that connects and how this connects. So, you got the games going, you got a way to help us connect. And then you're gonna, uh, I know you're in the process of making your own game too, right? I'm trying as best as I can. So, you got three pieces of your, your, your big web. You know, what's gonna happen soon is, you know, you're gonna be able to build your bigger picture. I call it the overall vision for yourself. And you'll know how to build your team according towards that. Your team will go, okay, I need someone who's gonna need to be good at creating the game. I need someone who's going to be able to uh, do the hardware stuff, which is the Raspberry Pi. And then the last one is, you know, to run someone uh, to, to, to do the communications part. So that way that we, when we create this big project, we all can be connected. You know, we all know what's, uh, who, who's doing what and, you know, how the project's running, you know. So... You have no idea what you're doing for yourself, Max. I think you do, but then... I kind of do, but like I don't know which direction what's to gonna take do. right now. And it's like, perfectly fine. You're feeling, you're feeling that. that, that you, don't, you don't have a clear idea of where this road's going, but that's the beauty of it. Yeah. That's the beauty of it. But like, I do believe it's next week. We're actually starting to choose our team members for next year. Oh, was that right? Yeah, so I have oh, no... Oh, you guys get to choose your teams? Yeah. yeah. It's, I think they're doing like a half and half kind of thing. Because okay. what most people want to do is choose their friends immediately. Correct. But what you, you really have to that, do huh? is like, you have to choose who do you actually want to work with you and who's actually going to work. Yeah, so you're, that's a wonderful thing because in college, we all go through that too. You want to choose your friends and usually, you, sometimes your friends aren't really the best teammates because what do they do? Like me, I'm guilty of that. Sometimes I use my friends because I know that they could do certain things for me that I know I, I, I couldn't do, yeah. and you know? And it, it'd, be, it'd be my responsibility, my duty to do the same for them, you know. But then, like you said, you got to choose your team that can, you know, you guys can have a good balance of people that can carry your weaknesses, uh, um, where you can have strengths where they don't have, and uh, where you guys have a good workflow, you know. Yeah. Because uh, no, one, no one wants to carry someone who does nothing, right? Yeah, I've had that team this entire year yeah. for our internships because uh, <laughs> there's about two of us working on it. There's three of us on the team. There's about two of us actually working. Yeah. And most of it was on me. I do know that. Yeah. But, like, uh, the third person, she wasn't working too well, but the person that was working, yeah. we had kind of a little setup already started, which was I would get all the content onto the website because our internship was that we had to create a website for a client that was given to us, that was assigned to us by our teacher, which I do not, I'm not entirely sure if Mr. T did it or Mr. Cooksey, I completely forgot. It was one of those two who did it. But, um, 
We just actually recently finished that. I do believe it was last Thursday. Yeah. Yeah, last Thursday. We pitched to our client our website that we had, and yeah. after that, we talked to the client and what we needed. We actually are one of the. Uh, we're part of one of the only teams that actually finished our website entirely because we have literally every page filled with content that was supposed to be there. I want to show everybody the school that you go to. I think it's an awesome school. This is Patino High School. This is the first high school of our country that is focused on entrepreneurship. Yeah. And my man Max here goes to this school. And you are one of the one of the first people to go to this school. Uh, second year. Second year, second year. Yeah. So you're still you're still part of the you're gonna be part of the early rich history. You guys are gonna be the people that I feel the experience here at the Patino School of Entrepreneurship not only will prepare students to enter the 21st century workforce, but to lead it. I think it's unique because it just gives a different style of learning and you don't really get that sort of prison sense in well, any other school. We create a culture here, a culture of um, fostering student relationships. Their way of teaching, uh, their way of developing the kids, um, developing their personality to be entrepreneurs. They create an atmosphere where students get engaged. There's kids in the first day who couldn't talk in front of people. Now they're, you know, they're outspoken. Before coming here, I was really, really shy and I couldn't talk in front of a group. And every time I did, my voice would just be really wavy. But now it, I get more confident. I've never seen him so excited to go to school. So that is really a huge, huge improvement on its own. Patino has changed me in a way to where I'm no longer afraid to express myself. One of the unique opportunities we have at the Patino School of Entrepreneurship is students get to participate in internships in 10th grade where they are uh, building websites, social media campaigns for real clients. One of the things too that I would like to see on the landing page is how you guys have the header up here something maybe pretty visual on the landing page. And then in 11th grade, when they start their own companies, they have a community mentor, someone who's been there and done that, started their own company. Uh, that's a unique opportunity to work with real people in a real work setting. Here at Petinio, I feel like they really teach you and try to teach you skills that aren't just gonna help you in school, but they're gonna teach you and help you outside of school. I can take any student here put them in a situation, they'll figure it out, even if they don't know what they're doing, because they know how to solve problems. So I think the biggest skill that we can give any of our students here is the skills to solve problems outside of school. I think it's preparing my son to be a very, very strong candidate uh, for uh, good schools in the country. We're not doing drills or exercises on, on public speaking or interviewing. We're putting them in spaces where it's real, where they're really involved in being entrepreneurs. And through that experience, they can leave here and they can become entrepreneurs or they can go on to college or they can do anything. They can be better attorneys and doctors or, or whatever they want to do because of this experience. My advice for anybody coming to Patino would be to be yourself because this school is it's amazing because of its diversity. It's amazing because it wants everybody to be different because everybody's different personalities is what makes us be pushed to another level. Overall, in general, take risks. Don't be afraid to stand out or be unique or be different. Patino isn't like any other schools. And if you're not sure about it, you should just go for it. You'll try, you'll meet new friends, you'll get to learn so many new things. It will unlock their potential. It will unlock their, their shyness. But it is a unique opportunity that's available only here and now in Fresno, California. To be able to leave school having started a business, having worked in innovative situations with startup companies, having learned new technology, I mean, what could be better than that? So if, it's, if it sounds interesting to you, if you're excited about it, don't let anything hold you back. Take that opportunity, take that plunge, be an entrepreneur, and come to the Patino School of Entrepreneurship. So that was Max's school. There you go, Sue. That was uh, Patino, right? Patino? Yeah, Patino. Oh, sorry. Entrepreneurship. Sorry, I'm, I'm picking out. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's actually, 
I've, it's been a while since I've actually seen that video. Oh, is that right? And I've noticed throughout that entire video, I knew just about almost everyone there. It's such a small school at the moment right now. Next year, we're only getting more people. Yeah. Because the school's only been open for two years. And uh, they only accept sophomores. Yeah. So, like, if you're a freshman, you would transfer, and then you would, uh, in sophomore year, you would start everything like you would. Mm -hmm. You technically would in a school, but then you get completely surprised. Like, uh, our school, what they did for us at the beginning of the year is uh, instead of having a normal school have an orientation, they called it disorientation. Mm -hmm. They took us out of our boundaries that we're normally used to and we stay in. And they had us do so much, like, we were pitching on the first few days. You know, we were getting used to everything, everyone around us. And so, you know, what you experienced there is a little trick of entrepreneurship, which is, I'm pretty sure that's the theme for a lot of you guys. <laughs> getting comfortable with being uncomfortable, right? Because I think that's the secret of life, to whatever you want. Being uncomfortable, being comfortable, being uncomfortable, because you know... Every, everything you've done that has been exciting, you had to be uncomfortable first about it. Yeah. Just yeah. about, you know. It was, um, like, Thursday, for example, I, I gotta say, uh, we had to pitch in front of people that, some of the people we didn't know and some of the people we did know, of yeah. course. Like, uh, with my team, we pitched in front of the CEO of Bitwise, yeah. where we're at, uh -huh. and I was completely surprised whenever he gave us nothing but compliments with our website, because mm -hmm. he was saying, like, most of the teams, they didn't have any kind of content at all. Uh -huh. The only thing we were missing at the time was the services page, Yeah. but then, like, the day afterwards, we got that filled in, so it was completely... Right you know, then and there, so you guys yeah. didn't even wait? Took the feedback and responded to it, right? Yeah, we had, uh, we emailed the clients. You wouldn't have to have the website, do you? Um, so I would I have to launch, launch it. Okay. And, like, we don't have the proper, like, the actual website name because it was done with Cloud9. And Cloud9 doesn't host anything. Yeah. Um, well, would you mind showing the Cloud9 page? You can yeah. log on to your... Oh, um, I don't know if I remember any of my stuff. Okay, well, if not, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, but we'll, I'll load up Cloud9 so they can see how Cloud9 looks like. Actually, yeah, I, actually, I do remember my stuff. Oh, um, you do? Okay. Yeah. All right, go ahead and sign on in. So. I'm going to go grab another pizza. Ah, there he is. So, with Cloud9, you know, okay. Let me show everything. Them. I'm loading Cloud9 right now, bro. You think you're ready, Divine? I'm waiting ready for you. Yeah. I think it's still... <laughs> I don't know if it's still locked. No, it's not. Okay. So... <laughs> Rain down. Click open. Oh, okay. And then here's what we've done. Um, this is your website, huh? Yeah. Search rule? Yeah. So these are our clients, Ken Robert. Uh, this is Ken Robert and his son, Mark Roberts. Uh, they've been working on this business for 39 years, I mean, 38, 39. Um, these are real clients. Yeah, these are real clients, real people. We met with them about three times to get all the information that we needed. We got their, you know, inf uh, we got their social media. We actually, uh, our team was paired up our web development team was paired up with online marketing team, and our team created all their um, information that was necessary for uh, things like a newsletter, and then Facebook, Twitter, all that. And you know, as you saw on the website, we just about done everything that they wanted to. They absolutely love the website for what they are doing. Uh, 
there are ways where you can even though it, even the uh, CEO of Bitwise was saying that um, so many teams were trying to make everything so complicated looking, mm -hmm. while we went with the bare minimal because you know you know keeping it simple with what our client actually is. Mm -hmm. Since it's a small janitorial service, you know we kept the website small and clean. Yeah. We do still need to fix up the services page a little bit, of course, but you know we've we did it in a day, kind of. Like it was there, just not everything we had was there. So, and then if you even go to the sign up for our newsletter page, you can see that we have all this set up. And um, scrolling up to this. The logo was actually created by our web development team. There, our web development teacher, Mr. Cooksey. Oh, was that right? Yeah, yeah. Jason Cooksey. Yeah, Jason Cooksey. Um, he showed us. He was like, uh, we were on base camp one day because that's what he showed us to use. And yeah. Mr. T was also talking about us using it. Um, he showed us on Basecamp the logo, we're like, we love it, so we just had to make a minor change. If you, uh, on the website, you can see a little, the address of the company. Yeah. See it, in Fresno, California, and the number and everything, it's there. Uh, we had to actually add that to our uh, picture because we had no way of actually putting it there. Yeah, yeah. Nah, I see what you mean. Yeah. That's, I get, that's a little trick. Yeah. I had to say the hardest part to actually doing all of this was figuring out how to use everything. Here's the code. Well, we didn't use that code actually. We, oh, yeah? we didn't use any of that. Um, WordPress, I'm using WordPress. Uh, I do believe if it's. Uh, Forward slash admin, I think it is. Admin? Do you believe? Yeah. Oh, so you I guys can, did use WordPress, huh? Yeah, we used WordPress for it. Um, I don't know entirely if this is correct. Divine, are they playing games on the other side? Yeah, they are. Alright, so we got a good one. You see them playing games on the other side? Huh? You see them playing games on the other side? Cool. The kids. They're in the room. Check them out. Okay. So show them your, your special moves. So this is the dashboard that, or well that was the dashboard of everything, but the hardest part we had to do was learn how to use this, which is Themeify. Yeah. This is a theme for WordPress that we can edit everything with simple drag and drop, but we had to learn everything here by ourselves because it was literally thrown at us basically. Uh, Cooksey came in one day and he's like, hey, you guys are going to have to figure out how to put this onto your WordPress site. He gave us like four different links to go to and then download them and throw it onto our site. We had no idea what we were doing. Like even putting it onto the site, we didn't have any idea what to do. But, uh, you know, as soon as we figured that out, we're like, all right, that's cool. You know, we can finally use that. And then we started building the website. We were like, we have no idea what we were doing at all for like four months until we actually got used to it and everything. So it was just it's really complicated, really scary for us. It, it is, you know, it's, uh, that that kind of pressure is actually going to be um, really beneficial towards the long end because the one thing about being an entrepreneur, you you have a timeline, but you also have to have your own personal timeline too. You know, you have time for you to finish and time for you to you know set yourself up. Discord's blowing up right now. <laughs> Uh, but like, we spent a good four, three or four months doing nothing but this in web development, or in our uh, web development class. We've been so focused on actually trying to learn anything that we didn't learn anything from it yeah. until more recently. Like, about two weeks before we had to pitch. We were sitting there flipping out because there was we had to create a new page for it and we had no idea how to fix it. So the our 
online marketing at like two weeks in, in advance, turned, uh, added on the sign up for newsletter. She was flipping out because she didn't know what she was doing with this site. So what was happening was the borders of the, the header, it was covering up the entire screen. And then if you scroll down, it was doing the exact same thing for the footer. Oh, okay. We were sitting there, we don't know what we did to actually fix it until <laughs> three days before the pitch, mm -hmm. I realized that an edit page is where we actually changed it. So like, if you click on that, yeah, and you scroll down, you see the uh, page appearance, and scroll down a little bit more, and this is where we had to fix our header design and our footer design. We had to change it from default to, to uh, uh, a block. To one of these, uh, one of these options, huh? Yeah. We were so confused on every little thing that we did. It's scary, right? Isn't it? It's terrifying. Because you don't have no idea how you to do it. And when you Google it, Google sends you on an Easter egg hunt. Yeah, kind of. And then you kind of get the idea of what you need to search up. And then you search up that. And it just it gets weirder and weirder. And then at one point, we were like, all right. We need to learn how to do this. So we went to Themify's actual website and all of that and looked at their videos. They had one video, 45 minutes long, on everything you need to know for uh, on Themify. So my team member, Kendrick, he, uh, he looked through the entire video one day. He was like, all right, I'm completely done. He spent the entire class period watching the video. <laughs> that class reads 150 minutes. Yeah, no. We're just be, we're gonna wrap things up. Are they still playing games on that side, Divine? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we're gonna go, we're gonna send this over there. Show, show and then up, and then up. Yeah, you'll join us over there, yeah? So, okay. Yeah. Yes, yeah, the podcast. Man. We are live. We are live. So, uh, this is, this is uh, Kyrie's. One of the fantastic fours that we have here. Sorry to cut you off, Max. So, go ahead, Max. Uh, I'm going to come join you with your brother in that room, okay? All right, we're going to talk. Okay? All right. Uh, we spent, he spent the entire class period looking up how to do it. And as soon as he got everything that he needed to know, he taught both okay, me folks. and Renee everything, everything we were learning and all that. Alright, so we're going to take a quick break. Let's see what's showing. Discourse. Uh, Joshua's doing a little presentation right now. Some scratch, huh? Go ahead, go ahead and uh, do some commentating on this right now, Max. I Josh can't commentate for nothing. Yes, you can. You're doing it right now. Just, just explain what they're doing. What do you mean explain what he's doing? He's explaining what he's doing. So he's he's showing everything that he's worked on so far, which from the look of it, he kind of made a Mortal Kombat type game. From what I can see with the text, Discord is blowing up. <laughs> Seriously. I know, Discord is blowing up. For real, I, I wish level one. I'm level four. But of course, I was the creator, so. You saw what you see my eyes right here. Scratch looks relatively easy to use. I thought it was going to be like complicated code. I never even actually used it, so. Oh, there goes more Discord. Antivirus, you know, malware detection software. He's an expert right here. He's got three shirts. It's nice, right? What's up? That looks nice. Yeah, what is it? Is it a city? Huh? Is this supposed to be a city?
You know DJ, the, the, you know that Premiere, right? Adobe Premiere? Mm -hmm. It's a good, it's like green screen. You can do green screen, you can do uh, anything, right? I know, yeah, it's, it's powerful, powerful video editing. Yeah, I know. Like you could do like loudness video, you know, anything. And I know you're really, really good at using it. Like when I use that green screen, you know, that video, that's how I use it. I know. You saw it. You showed it to us. Yeah. It's it really, 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 really good. Is there any more prints? Is there any problem? I need to more of a couple months. Yeah, I was really, really impressed. Your green screen and Adobe Premiere skills are good. So how good are you with it? Oh, good. So, uh, you know how to do a little bit of animation stuff in there? Yeah. Let's just say I want to have I want to have the Learn Steam logo animate in, animate out. You could do that. You know how to do the different layers in Adobe Premiere. So Thank you, sir. Good job. I gave you a project to do. You could do it. He's letting it to the school. You don't have Premiere on your laptop. You only have it at school. Yeah. So you have to use Premiere, right? I use Adobe Premiere. That's cool. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. <clears throat> okay. But you don't have it on your laptop yet. Yeah, I don't have it on my laptop. Okay. All right. Excellent. Okay, speaking, guys, comment take. Comment take. Ah, uh, but that, but the camera's uh. It doesn't need to be on you, but you can speak. So really, we're just talking about uh, when we're picking up the microphone. The microphone is talking about what's on screen, and we just had a student showcasing some code for. An old Atari Galaga game. The Galaga so, game, right? That, I, I played that game before. We just showed you the code and how to, how to build it. All right. I've never actually used Scratch before. It does look relatively easy to use. It's similar to it's similar where you drag the blocks to create now and do different sequences of code. And you can look and see the code inside. I should really try using it because. Really I, I still haven't even made a game yet, so I really need to start. You should. You should really, really I saw Mr. Uh, D, you know, he did this on camera, you know, on that, on that photo. Is that the actual time? There he is, right there. <laughs> you ever seen those? Did you see where we showed you? Yeah! <laughs> yeah! It's joking! Yeah. Can I try these? I said they're thinking, but with the one I saw, might as well be fresh. No, he said, get out of here! Get out of here! That's funny, right? Would you like to draw the podcast? It says Dubai ain't saying anything, just trying to look through the camera. Oh! oh Alright, going back. He said, he keeps on doing that. Whoa. You like going that low? Let's see. Whoa, we almost crashed. Alright, and we are back. Done picking out. Look at me. I'm it's been an hour, a minute, I don't know. Okay. All right. So, what'd you go do? You disappeared, man. I don't know. I mean, you don't know. <laughs> you were gone for a good hour. <laughs> and I like, see you're using uh, using Max's new communication. Will you turn off your phone? Yeah, just shut it off because I want to save my battery. I just want to <laughs> save the battery. Yeah. Save the Whoa! Battery. Whoa! You saw that? Yeah. I just failed. I almost failed, right? Yeah. I was like, whoa! Oh. So, Divine, are you watching basketball right now? No. No? Do you like basketball? Well, I like basketball, yeah. I, I never played basketball, but I played basketball in the 90s. <laughs> You play the it, game basketball, like NBA 2K and all that? No, not that much, but I played once. All right. Are you snapping? Is that what you're doing? No, I'm trying to look for the live, 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 live,
Oh, you're gonna share it? Where is it at? Where it's at? You, you had a fair? You ever heard of that? No five? Okay. So, it's on Facebook, Divine. You got Facebook? No. Why not? I don't have Facebook. You don't like Facebook? No, I don't have Facebook account. You don't have a Facebook account? You said, you said it's on YouTube. You said YouTube earlier. It is going to be YouTube. I have, to, I have to upload it later. You want it live on YouTube too? I can do it. Right? I see. I see that other one. You know. Yeah, the old one. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. It. It. it but it, ha it doesn't have like a sound like this. You know. Yeah. It's just, the other uh, one. The, the other one we messed up the sound. It yeah. Wasn't picking up from this. Just picking up from this. And I was so mad. Yeah. Like, but I can yeah. barely hear our voices. Yeah. And the music. Did Chris go home? Who Chris? Chris. Chris, the one of your. Your other uh, commentator last week. Uh, yeah. I don't know. All right, let's take a quick break. Yeah. All right, I need, I need Introduction. To to I need to talk to you. We're Make back. Guys, I'm back, and and you guys remember me? I had that bikini the other day. What you see in that photo? Oh, this one. This one. This one you seen before? Uh, this one, which is which is uh that that is me right there, and uh, and well. I like to do, I like to do video editing on, on Adobe Premiere, you know, and then, and then make everything. Where is that? Hold on a second. You gonna leave the, you gonna leave the live stream like that? No, 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 I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, uh, I'm just gonna, uh, wait. Here I am. <laughs> 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 now I am. Yeah. Alright. I wish I had one of those fidget spinners. Since also Santa wasn't the one to let me play one, she says I'll get pink eye when I do it too fast, you know. I don't know, you go too fast. Have you ever heard, you guys ever heard on the news that, the, that some, some girl swall swallowed a fidget spinner? It's not for eating though, it's for, for your thumb, you know. <laughs> yeah. Look like somebody's giving me all that. Yeah, who joined? Hey. Yeah, it's Jerry over here with the Divine. Oh, you're going to leave me hanging like that? Come on, Divine, give me a oh, taco. Yeah, I there forgot. we go. There I didn't know go. what it was. So are we looking at the world right now? Are we live on? Yeah, we are, huh? Yeah, we live. And you know how to do the words, you know? Right? Right, Bing? Words you know. You know the words, you know how you put the, like, the text like this? Oh, yeah. a caption? Yeah. So Jack, you go to half. So we got a. Uh, I'll put my name over here. We got. Oh, that's too big. And then, uh. <laughs> Divine, how do you spell your name, Divine? Is that how you spell yeah, your name? Yeah, yeah. Alright, so we got. <laughs> <laughs> Come on! Snapchat! 
Remember that, okay? That's that's the slogan of me. Add that slogan at me. Snapchat. <laughs> you know what that is, right? Snapchat. Yes, sir. I got Snapchat right, right with me too. <laughs> I got it. I'm just saying. That's a slogan of me saying that. So we stuck with this divine wall. I mean, they, <laughs> the world knows. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Hey. Hey. There we go. There we go. All right. There we go. We got Jerry and Divine over here. We had uh. Huh? Oh, we're good. Oh, oh, I'm gonna leave him in a minute. But again, again, again. Oh yeah, and May, May. Remember that? Remember that? As as the Snapchat thing. Remember? Oh, you want the Snapchat emblem and all remember, that? Remember that? I want this. Yeah. I think I should have. Yeah, it's gotta be the gallery. It's a media file. I think it's still in downloads. Snap. So we're gonna leave him in it, right? Right? What? We're gonna leave him in it, right? Right right there. Yeah, See, you should like leave right now. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, and add me on yeah. Snapchat, yeah. Divine. Yeah, add me on Snapchat! Here you are, that's it. Yeah. Right here, if you want to scan that right there. You gotta get closer. Yeah, if you have a phone right now, if you're watching on a computer. If you're watching on a computer or a phone, or a phone, just, just screenshot it or, or use your phone to scan it. <laughs> you got that. All right, you got that. I know you. All right, so give a recap. Right. We're about to close up. Everybody yeah, we're about to close up. Close up and step that. So, today, what what did you learn from today? We learned about micro bit. You guys on the website? Yeah, we we did we did we joined about the the Discord. Discord. So. What did you do? How did? How are we on the Discord? What does it allow us to do? The Discord. To chat. To, oh, we're about to leave. Bye, guys. And I'll step chat. All right. Make sure you post that on YouTube too. You post that on YouTube? No, not really. And then you're actually posting on YouTube like the heck? All right. Let's close this. Is this your computer? This is my brother's. Oh. Oh, the kids look cool. 